one of them via the kickoff. And he'll have a chance from the six. Davis cannot get the edge, and the Longhorn coverage team swarms him at the 10 yard line. On third and ten, Longhorns bring four. Plenty of time for Duggan, who throws low and behind. Miller was coming out of the backfield, and it's a quick three and out for TCU. And a direct snap to Bijan Robinson. He's not going to get there. The Horn Frogs stand him up and stone him right at the line of scrimmage. Shad Banks, who's filling in for D winners. No blitz. And Duggan has the pocket collapse around him, and he's dropped for a loss. Sorrell with his fifth sack of the season. That's is dealing with third and longs tonight. This is third and ten for Texas. Yours is going to be smacked to the ground. That was Dylan Horton, the leader of that defensive line. the first four games and then the injury setting him back Miller picks his way and falls forward for a first down inside the Texas 35 this time Duggan has time and delivers a dart down the field and it's caught by Johnson and he's still running and the big play receiver makes the first big play of the night first down at the 11 Duggan running out of time cannot escape yet another sack the third for Texas in the year 10 for 10 in field goals this from 34 yards and uh, he missed it for the first time this year off target missed it by a few feet to the left a four-year starting kicker just anything to kind of get a couple completions get him going off the play action or that launch center field for Worthy in the double coverage and it's intercepted by Hodges Tomlinson and he's a threat with the ball in his hand so TCU set up again in plus territory, and the very rough start continues for yours. Johnson in motion here, play clock at three. Duggan's looking back to the left, and delivers a dart to Jaquarius Spivey, made by Barron. Two back look, they fake it, and throw it in the flat to Trent Battle, and the running back has a first down in Texas territory. 30 snaps each. Duggan pressured again, delivers an accurate throw. And that catch is made and stretching things out is Jared Wiley. It's Johnson to the left. Duggan's looking the other way into the slot. And the catch is made by Tay Barber, the reliable fifth year senior. Davis in motion. It's just eye candy as they hand it off to Miller on third and long. And they'll set up a fourth and three. Years ago, we've been four for four against Texas. And we have points with 121 to play fourth break. It was interesting there. It was a yep. third and eight. Duggan on the keeper tries to get around the corner. He does. And he'll fall forward for a first down out across the 20. The first time he's really made a play with his legs tonight. Miller has a little crease. Has a block on the edge. Look out. Kendra Miller in a foot race. They won't catch him. And the Frogs with the first touchdown tonight, 75 yards. The time a really good block from Savion Williams. Sprung him. Yep, absolutely. Anytime you get a big run, you need some great blocking downfield. But there's a mistake here by Tucker Dorsey. We've been seeing these linebackers play well all night. you got to fix your gap. He gets inside, loses the vision, and that's what opened it up. Number three, not quite collapsing down, shooting down. These linebackers have been aggressive all night. This time, they miss a gap. In command, up 10 here. On the edge, Whittington makes a couple guys miss. Jordan Whittington's got great speed. The stiff arm, and he's knocked out at midseason, or midfield, and finally a spark. Frogs 40. Yours. Catch made, first down, that's Sanders. Cheever kind of created a pick there, on, even though it was zone. Whittington again, he sparked this drive, the 25-yard gain now of the fourth down conversion. There's some rhythm, finally. Defense has been really good after halftime. Shot to the end zone, and short of that is Sanders, who goes up and makes a catch. And you see why this guy was a five-star tight end. And... Zipped 
too high. Finally, get Texas on the board. They were definitely thinking seven in that drive. 12 plays to move it to 71 yards. Stop for Texas. Try to get the football back with decent field position. They come after the punt again. Punter goes down. Flag comes out again. Jordy Sandy knocked to the turf the first time. It was a five-yard variety, it not 15. Yeah. It's going to be a first down either way as Sandy is slow to get up. Yep. Well, they blocked three punts this year. And obviously, Kirk, you felt like they... Like their First chances to block one tonight. Kicker, number zero, defense, 15 yard penalty, automatic. First down. Five, 100 snaps on defense. It's a cool night. Duggan on the edge second time tonight he's made a positive play with his feet. It's a first down at the 43 before Terrence Brooks knocked him out. Di Mercado has a little crease that almost ran through a tackle all the way to the house. Jalen Ford. Texas brings pressure. Duggan backpedals. Lost to the end zone. Wide open. Johnson. Touchdown. A confused Texas secondary left the elite receiver wide open. 31-yard strike. Confused is the right word. The safeties, I think, aren't on the same page. Watch the safety in the back end. They're disguising pressure here, and then that ends up dropping now watch the safety in the back end right here is the confusion go to the post the safety doesn't go with him had no idea that johnston snuck john robinson still waiting for him to make an impact play tonight the hyper talented back does move keelan and Dijon Robinson in the backfield. Lobbed to the end zone. He tried to get it to Sanders in heavy traffic. But the Urzer knocked it away. Needs some magic here on fourth and 17. And he will just launch downfield into traffic. And that was Sanders going up for it. And it's picked. Hodges, Tomlinson, second pick tonight. Going home against Texas Tech. They played solid tonight, although Duggan just drops the ball. TCU in the playoff and just win and just like that this thing has changed with 425 to play throw high caught by Johnston and it's a first down the big fella goes up and uses that height but inside of three minutes and bulldozing ahead is DiMarcato another first down they're near mid And Mercado, he's been a good complimentary runner to Kendrick Miller tonight, and that's a first down, and it'll be a victory formation, and TCU is going to come in here as an underdog and beat Texas to get to 10-0.